right, Apes Energy Math, numbers 5 through 8. 5 through 8 are a little bit easier than numbers 1 through 4. Number 5, we're going to take $103 and divide it by 646 kilowatt hours. How did I know to do that? Because it asks how much money per kilowatt hour. So we take money, and per means you put a line and kilowatt hour goes underneath it and we know we have 646. So money per kilowatt hour. If you make a mistake and flip them around by accident, your answer isn't going to come out logical. Um, it's going to cost way too much money per kilowatt hour and it, it won't make sense. And so if you make a mistake and do that on your test and you come up with an illogical answer, then go back and read it again and see if you made a mistake with which goes in the top and the bottom. So when I divide this out, now you have to do this by hand, long division on the AP test. And so we're going to have to take 646 goes in to $103. So um, 646 does not go into 103, so I'm going to have to make sure my decimal point uh, goes to the top here and add a zero. And now um, 646 does go into 1030 once. 1 times 646 equals 646, and now we can subtract, and we get, um, let's see here. three hundred and thirty four remainder. And so we add another zero, and bring it down, and when we finish out this entire problem, we end up with one six one, which we will can round to sixteen cents per kilowatt hour. And that's our answer. And that's a logical amount because energy does not cost like six dollars per kilowatt hour, which is what you would have ended up with about if you had done it the opposite way. Number six. The first thing that we're going to do is to use this from the last problem and multiply it for the year. This is per month. So it's a simple problem as just taking 646 kilowatt hours per month and multiplying that by 12 months per year. And I'm going to get um, 7,752 kilowatt hours per year. But it asks for megawatts. So this answer has to be um, divided by 1,000 to get to megawatts. And um, the conversion, I'm going to go over here with a little more room. 7,752. To do the conversion properly, um, we'll have to take kilowatts here, kilowatt hours per year, and it's one megawatt per thousand kilowatts. And that's something you just really need to memorize. One thousand kilowatts is equal to a megawatt. And so this is just dividing by a thousand, and when we do that, we get 7.752 megawatts per year. Because our kilowatts cancel out. Sorry, this is megawatt hours, excuse me. Next question 74 therms per month, and it's a, a tiered charge. We call it on two tiers. 49 therms are at 74 cents a therm, and 25 therms are at 98 cents per therm. They often do this on a bill. The, the first, um, so basically as you use more, it costs more. So it's, uh, it's how to incentivize people to use less energy. So we're going to take here 49 therms, and the first 49 cost 74 cents per therm. Okay, and we're going to add that to the next 25 therms. And this is an actual bill I took a couple of years ago, 
and um, this is the actual price for the month of March a couple of years ago when I made this worksheet for my house. So now our therms cancel. 49 times 74 cents gives us 36 26 plus 25 times 98 gives us $60.76 and adding, I'm sorry, it does not. That's the answer. It gives us $24.50 and then our answer is now $60.76. The last one is we take the number of therms um, and we divide it by four people. So 74 therms from the answer um, from the given in number seven and that's just divided by four people in my household and that's people or capita and when we do this out with long division we end up with 18.5 therms per capita or per person and that's how you do five through eight